Hello, Kules, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting update. We start with Alejandro Bade, as it has been revealed that Barcelona were so close to selling the 18-year-old left back in the summer. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about the fans at the Camp Nou, we are going to be discussing on how the Barca fans have been feeling the Camp Nou this season. And of course, the Camp Nou is averaging the highest attendance in Europe. This tells you how fans are happy now at Barcelona. And we can see how the Camp Nou is always packed than ever before. So Xavi and his team, his wonderful transfer window has brought fans back. We are going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Give the video a like and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Why Barcelona superb start to the new season has garnered a number of praiseworthy talking points. Alejandro Bade is right at the top of this list, starting in four out of five La Liga games for his boyhood club, the teenager has been a revelation at left back. However, it has been revealed that the an exit from Spotify Cam Nou seemed on the cards for the 18-year-old at one point in the summer. As per a report by Marca, Barca had planned to put Bade on the transfer list this summer. However, the youngster impressed in pre-season, which meant he was afforded another chance to shine in the first team. So far, it is safe to say that the Spaniard has seized his golden opportunity by the scruff of the neck, with Xavi currently utilizing him as his goal to option at both left back and left wing back. The academy graduate's searing pace, attacking verve and intensity in the defense has given the Barcelona boss a number of reasons to entrust him in the side up to this very point. So much so that several sources have claimed that Alejandro Bade could be in line for a start against Bayern Munich in the Champions League on Tuesday, which speaks volumes of how impressive he has been in the senior setup. Bade has especially excelled during the fall new win over Cadiz, proving to be a force of nature for both um, Jose Boa, Dauzua and Ivan Alejo. And if not for some terrible refereeing, the Spaniard would have won a penalty for Barca in the first half. Ultimately, it is expected that the Wonder Kid will not play chunks of the season at certain points as well, with Marcos Alonso's addition from Chelsea this summer, as well as Jordi Alba still remaining at the club. However, credit must be given for Bade for changing Barcelona's stance from viewing him as a disposable player to a regular starter. It's been amazing to see how Alejandro Bade has developed as a player for Barca, and it's not surprising to say that Barca wanted to sell him in the summer. At some point, we even got a report about loan, a loan, possible loan for Bade, like how they did with um, players like Nico Gonzalez, Alex Collado, who were all loaned out to get some more minutes. But, you know, Alejandro Bade proved Javish wrong. Of course, he did well at preseason and drastically changed the mind of Javi to keep him. After seeing the impressive performances he made, you know, in preseason, and we have all seen it with our own eyes how Xavi has been preferring Alejandro Bade to veteran Jody Alba, and I think he deserves it. Alejandro Bade has been phenomenal at the left back role, you know. So far, we don't know how the starting lineup against Bayern tomorrow will look like, but if he starts against Bayern, then that's a big statement, you know, given how he's not that experienced at left back and he has not really played bigger opponents in Champions League like that. So let's see how it's going to look like. Let's just see. But it would not be surprising, honestly, if he starts against Bayern. So he has been impressing, and I think it's, it's a joy to see a player from La Masia being trusted by Xavi this way that Alejandro Bade has been trusted at left back. For the longest time, Jody Alba has been the one at left back with no competition whatsoever. He has been feeling so comfortable for many years since joining from Valencia back in 2012. Now that we have Marcos Alonso with us alongside Alejandro Bade, then it's really, really interesting to see how, you know, how Xavi will rotate the team. Of course, we all know the depth in the squad is so good and Javi have always been talking about the fact that he needs squad depth. 
so that in case an injury happens to a certain player, he has no doubt because the other player on the bench is a quality player as well. So great, we can see how from the game against Cadiz, Javi made up to 9 changes from the game against Victoria players in the Champions League. Against Cadiz, he made up to 9 changes. And if when we look critically at the squad, they were very, very talented. It's a very good squad to beat Cadiz very well. But even though the first half, I was surprised to see how they performed poorly. But um, yeah, I think when he brought in his weapons to destroy them, like Lewandowski, Pedri and Dembele, it was just job done. So great to see. Great to see how the team has been performing overall. Alejandro Bade in particular had been one of the, the, the talks of the season because everybody thought he could have been loaned also last time out. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. With Barcelona winning five and drawing one of their six games in La Liga and the Champions League, scoring 20 goals and conceding just two, Colors have had plenty of reasons to smile about so far this season. After enduring drab football as well as a lack of results in recent campaigns under Kike Setien and Ronald Koeman, watching Javi's side in action has seemingly been a breath of fresh air for the fan base. As a result, new statistic reveals that the supporters have been in attendance during games in huge numbers this term. According to the numbers released by Post United, the Spotify Cam Nou has had the highest average attendance out of any stadium in Europe during the 2022-23 season up onto this point. Why Borussia Dortmund's iconic signal Iduna Park topped this list in the previous campaign? The Catalan Giants' attendance in the stadium has leapfrogged that of the German Giants. Across the previous several campaigns, Barcelona were barely able to scratch the 70,000 mark despite their ability to host more than 99,000 people. Poor results, coupled with a lack of stars, especially last season after Lionel Messi's exit, meant people stopped turning up to the Camp Nou. This was especially highlighted last season when Barcelona hosted Eintracht Frankfurt at home and nearly 50% of the audience were Frankfurt fans. Since then, Jean Laporta has imposed minimum attendance rules on season ticket holders. Aside from the Camp Nou, the other stadiums on the list in order to include Signa Induna Park, Allianz Arena, Old Trafford, San Siro, Giuseppe, um, Misa, Orange um, Valodrome in Marseille, Veltins Arena, London Stadium and Tottenham Hotspur Stadiums. Why the stunning brand of football played under Xavi has allowed Barca fans to dare to dream once again. Another reason for the high attendances could be the watch the summer signings in the flesh with the likes of Robert Lewandowski, Rafinha, Jules Koundé, Andres Christensen, Frank Kessier, Hector Bellerin and Marcos Alonso. And so far, the additions that have been most involved such as Lewandowski, Rafinha, Koundé and Christensen in particular have shown for the club. With Javi's rebuild only set to improve over time, Barcelona's average attendances are also likely to keep rising. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.